YouTube, what's going on? Back with yours truly, Holster in the Gaming Cave for yet another pickup video. Um, kind of lockdown edition, but um, we're gradually getting eased out of lockdown anyway, so that's all good news. So I do hope you're all keeping as safe as possible, whether you're out there, you know, still working throughout this or just popping out for supplies, supplies, shopping and all that jazz, Um, you know, or whether you, you've actually been isolating and shielding the whole time. So yeah, I hope you guys are all remaining well and I hope you're doing lots of gaming as well Um, for the, you know, during the time that you've been spending at home. Um, so yeah, I've been gaming uh, as much as I can uh, when I've not been working, enjoying my days off, just literally chilling in the gaming cave. It's been so nice to just de-stress as per usual. Um. So yeah, first pick up is uh, my, uh, this is my lockdown cut, this is, uh, my mum actually, uh, it was just getting so long, like you can see from the last video, it literally already feels better. Yeah, it was just like all over the place, uh, so yeah, she just kind of like, she's cut it like just so it's all kind of level. Uh, it still needs like layering and everything, it still feels like really heavy because my hair grows really thick. But um, yeah, this is about as decent as I will look during this lockdown anyway. So yeah, I'm very happy with my lockdown haircut, um, it's just, you know, it's had a bit off the length and it's just all kind of consistent and it's not all like just minging and everything so yeah it's, it's not looking too bad so I'm looking about half decent for this video um yeah and I've got some new swag as well I've been getting uh, a few new clothes and bits um just treat myself you know for when we can actually finally go out I'm, I'm gonna look banging in all my new gear with my uh, post lockdown haircut and everything do you know what I mean that first pint in the pub guys it'll be amazing shout out to my man Dana um I think you'll probably appreciate this because basically dana's like the male equivalent of me because we, we literally dress alike um when we uh see each other at like, gaming events unintentionally we're just that cool uh yeah we both wear the brand six silk a lot and uh, this is like one that's like very similar it's called be inspired b double e inspired um it's a similar brand to that and uh, I, I just love this top um but yeah on pictures and videos it the colour, right, it really doesn't do the colour justice. It's like a really awesome bright pink. But, uh, yeah, just shout out to Dana because I think uh, you might like this brand, man. Uh, I'd recommend it to you because seeing as you're a fellow Six Silk uh, fan and also to, to just any of you guys, I'd just recommend. <laughs> just a really cool brand. Uh, but, yeah, I, I mean, I'd, you know, I'd just be, I'd be Dana if, if I had my, my head shaved just a round cheeky ponytail. I think I might go for that look and I'll be uh, the female Dana anyway, so shout out to you man and just another thank you to you as well actually for um having me on your live stream uh during this lockdown and for all the live streams you've been doing with other awesome youtubers um it's been uh, awesome to watch and obviously you've given myself and all the game community like really good um live streams to be viewing and it's obviously had a positive impact it's got he's got literally like all of us like involved uh you know whether we appear on the streams or we're viewing and it's lifted everyone's mood it has uh mine especially so yeah they, they've been awesome so thank you again dana so yeah i've made some recent pickups um i do have some other um stuff coming off for scottish slash japanese alan so they will be in the following video but i've still made some awesome pickups anyway um from other youtubers and we've got an uh, ebay items and a couple of birthday gifts as well it was recently my birthday on june the 14th so i turned 27 i'm getting on <laughs> so first thing i want to show you guys obviously we all know the amazing sequel to the masterpiece the last of us has just released um at the time of recording this it released like two days ago um so i was very lucky as you can see next to me i managed to get the collector's edition so i'm so grateful for that so it's literally right here um this was actually if I remember correctly, I'm sure it was. It was like in the box. It was like covering, um, you know, some of the contents. But um, <laughs> that's happened. You know, when you when you take something out, and then you just can't fit it back in the box. Like that's basically happened. And uh, I, I really can't squeeze this back in. So uh, I've just kind of left it lying about. Um, I don't want to. Um, don't want to like damage it. I've been like so careful with it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's what like the game case looks like <laughs> with Ellie on it. Um, but yeah, I've, I actually have done a, um, I filmed earlier a unboxing video of this and also uh, The Last of Us 2 limited edition PS4 controller as well. I managed to get one of them. If I show you it like this, I feel it really won't do it justice. So I will show you guys the unboxing video that I did of this collector's edition and the controller.
It's decent, isn't it? I hope you guys um, enjoyed watching that just then, the unboxing of Last of Us Part 2 Collector's Edition and, of course, the controller. I've got the controller right next to me. I've cracked one of these open because it's just something awesome to drink while I'm doing this pickup video. And I'm going to be going to be smashing through The Last of Us 2 after this. I'm going to have a massive game session on it, uh, like I did last night. I was playing until, like, like, 4 in the morning last night. Um, so, yeah, I had to uh, tear myself off it uh just now to, to do this video anyway so the controller it's actually right next to it, it's charging so yeah it's absolutely wicked as you guys would have seen on that uh on that footage so that is the controller so i got it for um i think i, I got it just for the normal price luckily because as of now they're literally going for like 80 90 quid on ebay or the game groups and things uh but yeah i, I did look on websites such as Very, uh, Smith's Game, none of them had it. But luckily, Argos still had some in stock. Um, I don't know what it's like now. Probably might have sold out by now, uh, by the time I've obviously just filmed this. But um, yeah, it arrived today. So oh, you cannot beat that feeling of a brand new controller. So yeah, I'm so happy. I thought I'd grab it. So I got it for like just the retail. So it was like 50 with P&P, but obviously it's better than paying like 80, 90 quid. So I knew the price had hike up. So for those of you who didn't get one, you know, and, and you wanted a controller, fingers crossed, like the, the price should hopefully calm down anyway. It's just that initial buzz in it when it's first released. But yeah, what can I say? I don't really want to talk um, much about the game. I probably played about about five hours of it, um, but I've, I don't feel like I, I'd have, I've got as far as like the average person would in five hours because i really like take my time with the game and um, try and get as much collectibles as i can and uh, i got a trophy as well 
it's like a, a silver one it's like a quite uncommon as well i think it would be quite easily missed on the first playthrough so uh thanks to taking my time i've actually managed to get that so um yeah my mate recommended to me uh, and i'll recommend it to you guys because I, I did um find his advice decent to be honest he said to me he was like just whack it on an easier setting like when you first play through it to enjoy the game you know the enemy's not too difficult and you can you can just kind of chill and just play it and really enjoy it and just explore around for the collectibles because uh, there's like several difficulties there's like normal there's like your hard modes or whatever and then there's normal and then there's like there's like one that's like not quite easy and then there's easy and i've kind of got the one in between easy and normal and yeah i don't regret putting it on that at all uh, because um he, he said to me that there aren't trophies for the difficulties completing it in different uh difficulties you just get a trophy for obviously completing the game so um yeah if if, if you did then i would have put it on normal like i usually do i usually play games on normal and then if i've enjoyed it i want to go back and replay it and then i'll put it up to like hard mode as well but um, yeah, I'm enjoying playing it on like the just the slightly easier one. Um, I know some people will see it as like an easy way out, but um, I'm doing it to obviously enjoy the game. Like I just took my mate's advice on board, and I'm advising you guys because I feel like it's benefited me, and it just allows me to chill and enjoy the game and uh, just hunt around for them collectibles, enjoy the story, and yeah, I'd, I'd love to do a playthrough of it as well. I say that, but <laughs> when I can get the time anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it, guys. Uh, there's not really much else i can say about it i don't want to like uh you know don't include any spoilers whatsoever just go out there play it and enjoy it absolutely i've seen some comments online uh some people think it's overhyped that they, they think it's bad storytelling or something like that um but people's opinions all vary you know, I've, I've seen mostly positive uh feedback about it anyway so yeah i'm definitely on the positive side because i'm a huge fan of this game series so yeah i would absolutely recommend it to you guys so anyway on to birthday gifts i got this with um birthday money basically from my mum and stepdad um so pc engine core graphics the pc engine mini it's got some wicked games on it as well guys um i actually have done um i did an unboxing as well so cause this is like an empty box mine's all set up and everything so i've been playing it i've not played it loads but i've played like a bit anyway uh, so yeah i'll show you the unboxing of it anyway
I would recommend this to anyone, guys. I absolutely love the PC Engine since I got into it. Uh, there's some awesome titles on here and expensive ones as well. You've got your Castlevania. There's the Bonk games. They're awesome. Superstar Soldier. Awesome shmup. There's also... Uh, I'm a massive fan of the Parodius series as well. There's Parodius on there. Oh, there's also Azonk as well. I love that. I initially played that on my uh, my little modded PSP that has like all the like, PC Engine library on it. And uh, absolutely loved it. And then I ended up buying um, Super Azonk off uh, Japanese Alan. But yeah, the, there's so many of these games that I don't actually own. I own uh, a few of them. I'm sure I own about... Uh, Maybe about seven or eight of them. You've got obviously you've got Splatterhouse as well on there. It's honestly it's incredible the games list. Obviously you would have seen on um on the video that I've showed you, but uh, yeah, I would absolutely recommend it to you guys. Um, especially if like you know you don't you don't fancy uh, paying out for them big hitters as well. There's some decent big hitters on there. Obviously including uh, games like obviously Castlevania, Splatterhouse. That I think that's around the hundred quid mark or so. Um, there's a, the Bonk games, they're, they're actually going up. They've gone up quite a bit. Like, especially like the, I think the third one's quite an expensive one. I'm sure, it's like the third one. There's one called All Dines or All Deans or something. Um, yeah, I've noticed, I'm sure I've seen that for about 150 or something. That, that's like an expensive shooter, that one. Some decent value in that. So, pickups from some other awesome tubers. So, Sega Saturn lad, Scott, he had a load of uh, official Sega Saturn magazines, uh, like loads of uh, doubles and spares and everything. So he actually had three issues that I needed and I now only need, I believe it's issues four and issues ten. And I've got a full set of the um, official Sega Saturn magazine. So I'll definitely like, do a video when um, when I've completed that set. I'll do a video showing them all. So, uh, yeah, I got issue 14, 36 and 37 off Scott. So thank you for these, mate. So you've got one uh, with a Virtua Cop cover. Got a Sonic one. And then there's your Dead or Alive one there. <laughs> that's that's actually the final issue. There's only um, 37 issues of it. That's good in that. And it says Game Over on the back as well. So, yeah, it's, it's usually... I remember talking to Mark Jowett as well. Matt Joe, I, I don't know how to say your name, Matt, sorry. <laughs> Some good mate I am. Um, yeah, he said it's usually like the, the beginning and then the final issues that I had to get. Uh, but yeah, thankfully I've got them a couple of them later issues. And then, um, yeah, and then obviously I'll hopefully grab the remaining two that I need off Mark when or if he gets them in. Because uh, obviously I, I do get most of my uh, magazines off Mark. Absolutely awesome over at Sega Mags. Absolutely recommend Mark if you haven't been to him for gaming magazines. So massive shout out to you, man. He's a really good friend of mine. He's awesome. Um, Scott also included um, a nice refreshers bar. Cheers for that, mate. I've not actually had that yet. I'm going to have it um, as gaming fuel while I'm playing Last of Us. <laughs> I said to him as well, because I, I kind of felt bad because it's like, it's really awkward just packaging like a few magazines in it. So obviously he sent me them in the post. I said, are you selling anything else, mate? Like, so I just wanted to kind of make it worthwhile, do you know what I mean? He said, I'm selling some demos. I said, oh, all right, cool, cool. So, i selling some Sega Saturn demos. So I was after, I hadn't even unwrapped these yet. He sent them wrapped. Hang on. Just wrapped in a bit of cling film to keep them together. God, it's like Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. So we have got Saturn Power number one. And that has got on it. Uh, I believe these are all playable. I can't really remember, to be honest. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. I'm not sure if they're all playable, but there's Tomb Raider, Swagman. That's really expensive on Sega Saturn. Not on the PS1, but it is on the Saturn, and I, it, I need it as well to go towards my full PAL set as well. Uh, there's Blam Machine Head and Fighting Force. See, these demos, they're, they're even a, a cool way for me to play these games before I've actually picked them up. So... It's just really cool. Uh, there's Nights. Still not got Nights yet. I'm dying to get that and play through that. I've only got Christmas Nights. Sega Worldwide Soccer 97. I actually like the um, football games on this. I think they're wicked. It's nostalgia for me. Athlete Kings. Baku Baku. That's uh, one of my favourite puzzler games. Uh, after discovering that on the Saturn. Incredible. Panzer Dragoon 2. I still need them ones. The first two. I've only got Saga up there. I mean, uh, only Saga. It's only Saga. <laughs> So happy to have that, honestly. It's freaking expensive, that one, man. Um, Exhumed, Virtual Fighter Kids, Story of Thor 2, and Three Dirty Dwarves. It pains me to say that, because that's another big hitter that I need. 
and then Sega Flash Volume 3 disc, and it has uh, so the video demos of Fighting Vipers, Virtual Cop 2, Dark Saviour, Knights, Mr. Bones, and Bug 2. Mr. Bones, absolutely recommend that. It is a big hitter. I consider it a big hitter anyway for the uh, the set, and I'm sure, I don't know if it's about the... I don't know if it's about the 150 quid mark. Maybe between 125 and 150, I reckon anyway, but I, I don't know. It's only from what bits I've seen. I, obviously, I don't have to shop for it anymore, luckily. Uh, so the playable ones, Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition, Virtual On, Tomb Raider, and Sega Worldwide Soccer 97. So, show you guys. I got these ages ago from the amazing Mr. Ben Boy. He makes loads of, like, custom uh, cases, artwork, console uh, variant boxes and everything. His artwork is absolutely incredible. So, yeah, massive shout out to him. Uh, but, yeah, he had these for sale uh, to, keep your, uh, to keep your Sega Saturn demo discs in so i grabbed these so i don't really need that many now so what have i got sega flash two and three they'll slot in nicely i'm not missing many now so let me have a quick look guys so that's one two three four five six so i think i've got all of them so i'm sure that, I'm sure there was only seven of sega flash i don't believe there was any more so i think i might have got them all for sega flash which is awesome. Uh, Saturn Power. Believe them, I still might need a couple. I've got one, two, three, four. I need three and four. I've got five. I don't know how many there were. I don't know if there's six or seven. But, um, yeah. Oh, I've done all right, actually. So, yeah, if any of you guys have them for sale, let me just repeat that. The Saturn Power, discs three and four, and any after five. I do need them, so if you, any of you guys are selling them, do hit me up, give me a shout. So I'm looking to complete that. Banging pickups video. If I may say so myself. <laughs> of course it is, it's stuff that I love anyway. So, oh man, this guy. Off oh, Scotty Zombie, Scott Brand Sega Zombie. Absolute top guy and top YouTuber. So thank you for this bundle, man. Really awesome prices for these. So he has... I'll, I'll tell you the PS1 first, because he had like a load of PS1 games as well. I actually needed this one. I thought, I'll grab this off Scott while he has it. Um, WWF Smackdown, the first one. I've got the second one. I needed the first one. For some reason, all the time, like, the wrestling games on PS1, you know, like WWF Attitude, things like that. Like, they're always, like, missing the manuals all the time, or they're all absolutely battered or something. Like, what is it about your wrestling fans? <laughs> I mean, I'm a wrestling fan. I was, anyway, in this era. Can't remember when I start, stopped watching it. And I think it's shocking now. Uh, but I love the good old days, anyway. It's shocking trolley backstage. You, you've got to love the backstage brawls, guys. You've, you've got to love them. So, yeah, I'm a massive fan of the PS1 wrestling games, especially Smackdown 1 and 2. They're, like, some of my favourites. My mate Jake, childhood mate. Still mates with now, obviously. He got me into them. So, absolutely love playing them. I haven't played a wrestling game since, like, I think it was Smackdown vs. Raw 07, 06. Oh, actually, I think it was 08, and that was the final straw for me, I think, that one. <laughs> yeah, I think it was on PS2. That, that was the absolute final straw. I was like, I can't, I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. The N64 wrestling games are good as well. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a big old school retro game wrestling fan. Anyway, the other stuff. PC Engine goodness, guys. I wanted one of these, an Avenue Pad 6, a 6 button. So, really like that for, uh, like, Street Fighter and the beat-em-ups. So, really awesome condition. Looking forward to playing with that. Big hitter alert, guys. It is Castlevania for the PC Engine Super CD-ROM game. So happy to have this. Yeah, it's a Dracula one. Absolutely awesome condition. So I'm so happy. So thank you, Scott. It's, honestly, it's gone to a good home and I'll take care of this. And uh, can't wait to play it as well. I know I've already mentioned this because obviously um, some of these games that come on the um, the core graphics, the PC Engine Mini. But, um, you know, I'm a collector. I love to have the actual physical copies of these. But like I say, the PC Engine Mini is absolutely ideal for people who don't want to obviously have to pay for the big hitters. Saves you a lot of money, but because I'm a collector, I just love having the physical copies. So, yeah. Don't know much about this one. I think it's meant to be decent, though. From what I've heard, I've seen gameplay, and I can't wait to jump into it, to be honest. 
and this is another one that i've really wanted not sure how this version is but a lot of people i've heard some good stuff about it though outrun the absolute classic that is outrun this one's a hue card this one so i'm looking forward to trying that always love playing out run at arcade club um i don't know if you any of you guys follow the arcade club uh, pages there's arcade club berry and then there's arcade club leads um, and then yeah on the facebook page just run it over a couple of months actually what's the the best arcade game of all time and like everyone including myself like was, was like voting like just in the comments um it was like there was verse in each game of each other and uh, to be fair i stopped voting once house of the dead uh, made an exit i was absolutely gutted at that that's, I think that's probably my favourite arcade game. Let me know what your guys' favourite arcade games are as well. Always interested to know. But yeah, I absolutely love House of the Dead. Massively looking forward to trying out the PC Engine version of Outrun because I've not played it yet. This is a game I've been looking for for ages. I've been looking on eBay uh, for ages for this. I've had like the alert on, you know, for when um, a new listing comes on because these were like Japan only, uh, shipping only from Japan. A UK listing popped up and it was like 45 quid buy it now there wasn't the best offer so uh, I just jumped on that I thought it was all right um I think I think it's a de decent ish price I don't know if I kind of paid up for it or might have done about the going rate but it is the mighty Tiger Rose oh so I've wanted this for months um literally since probably it was around just before just before Play Expo Blackpool uh, around that time so it's been ages but yeah it's really nice after like the perseverance and the patience has paid off and uh yeah finally got a really awesome example of this i've never actually played it but i've just really wanted it based on the gameplay i've seen so i don't know if any of you guys have played it but yeah i'm really happy to own tiger road from the gameplay i've seen it's a, it's like a side scrolling kind of just just action kind of one i'm not very good at describing to be honest it's hard when you've not actually played the games so a couple of other birthday presents actually so this one's actually from cex i've not even stepped foot in cex yet since it uh, reopened but uh, my local has recently reopened uh, my uncle was in town and he said do you want anything from cex and i had a quick look literally got naff all like decent kind of retro but i've except for this game i've been after it for ages i was like oh do you mind picking it up for us so it was just a tenner and it was pop and twin b so it's like uh it's like a cute em up I find it funny that that's even a genre like a shoot em up but it's cute so it's a cute em up <laughs> but yeah you can you can see even the artwork's like proper cute it needs a little bit of a clean up though because it is like it's like very yellowed on the back and um yeah it's just got a little uh bit of like label sticker residue on there so that can like be easily scraped off i just do that carefully so a bit of uh, faded writing on the top as well just needs a nice little clean up and then uh that will gladly be going into my collection and this last one, honestly, massive, massive shout out to uh, Liam, my mate. He's been subscribed to my channel for a long time. And I've also uh, got him on Instagram as well. And he's messaging now and again. We've just had like game chat and all that. He actually said, oh, I'm sending you a present for your birthday. I was like, oh, thank you so much. Like, it's, it's so nice of him. So, uh, yeah, I will be honest. I actually opened this earlier than my birthday because I couldn't wait. You, 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 all can't, what, you all can't expect me to keep a present there and just not touch it to my birthday. <laughs> You know what I'm like? But yeah, open this. I'm absolutely so thankful. So honestly, I've, I've absolutely like, thanked him on message. But yeah, massive shout out to you, Liam. And thank you for this awesome, amazing gift. It is Burning Rangers for the Sega Saturn. And it's a gorgeous example. And it's all nice and complete with Manuel. Liam said, oh yeah, I made sure it had Manuel because I know how fussy you are and everything. So... Thank you. You guys know me so well. So, uh, yeah. And I've had a go with this. It's literally like firefighting in space. It's absolutely wicked. But I've loved what I've played so far. And I can't wait to progress and complete this game. So I've got my Saturn uh, all hooked up. Uh, my main console. I've got like my Xbox One, my PS4. Um, I've got the PC Engine Mini hooked up. And I've got the Saturn hooked up. So they're like my main consoles that I've been jumping from at the minute. So, uh, yeah. I can't wait to be going back on that. So massive thank you liam i can't thank you enough for this such a generous awesome gift so massive thank you to you it's absolutely heartwarming to have you guys i really mean that as well it's amazing i've come a long way from that corner in my bedroom that one meter from like here to here but no seriously like it's crazy when i start my youtube i never 
dreamed of being in such an awesome gaming community like this. I literally thought I'd be like some like loner doing gameplays like. And then, then there's me strutting around car boots with a GoPro harness on. Meeting you guys at gaming events and you know, with uh got over 2500 subscribers now as well i honestly appreciate every single one of you and i can't thank you enough for your continued support and watching and supporting my channel on to the next pickup this was one i made on a gaming group i haven't bought off the groups in ages but i made this one an exception right because of the condition and the completion of it so i absolutely love sly raccoon on the ps2 it's absolutely awesome um nostalgia from my childhood that i rebought it like a few years ago I think it was about 14 quid or something. I, th I think I actually paid 14 for this one. This is Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. I don't know what this one's like. Don't know what the second one's like either. I actually own both the second and third, but both of them have no Manuel. They're only, only the, obviously the case and discs. But this one, I wanted to grab this while I had the chance because um, there is there are 3D glasses included with it. And I think there's only a, a couple of copies left in CEX. Last time I looked anyway, there's like two or three copies online. And uh, I thought it was going to be an absolute bugger to get these with the glasses. I didn't even know at first. Um, but yeah, this is all really nice and complete. So I, I believe, I'm sure it goes for about the tenner mark or something like that on uh, CEX. So yeah, I didn't mind paying 14 for this because of the condition and the completion because it's got the 3D glasses. So yeah, really happy to have this. Um, I'd r absolutely recommend Sly Raccoon, the first one. Um, do yourself a favour and play that, guys. Generally recommend that. Uh, but like I say, don't know about the second and third. Uh, I'm keeping this sticker on as well. There's like a a PS2 kind of promo one. Fire it up. There's a yes. Yeah, there's a thing in the back as well, like a bit of a leaflet. I think it, yeah, it just shows just some of the the other games that were out at the time, basically. So all proper, nice and complete. I absolutely love the graphics, like an artwork of it. He's an absolute character. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this. I, I need to pick up the second one. I need it complete with Manuel. Looking forward to eventually getting around and playing this one. Um, I'm probably going to like play them in order, play the second one, and then move on to this when I get a chance. Right, I've got some random ones. These are ones, should I just call them from the archives or something? These are ones that um, I've owned for ages and I made during that time. It was like a few years ago. It was basically, um, I just went mad, you know, when I first started collecting everything. Just bought like so much stuff. And the car boot started, then I started focusing on car boot videos. So I had all this like remaining stuff that I picked up from like the game groups, uh, eBay, etc, etc, online, local, whatever. And then I just kind of, I'd already put them in my collection because I, I just didn't want like things lying around and whatever. Um, so they'd already like filtered onto my shelves and everything. Then, um, yeah, as time's gone on, I've actually not never shown them. So the things that um, I've not shown you guys, um, unless I've forgotten that I've shown them, but literally, nah, I've not shown these. Uh, unless I tell you anyway. So yeah, I've just picked out a few miscellaneous games that I picked up from that time. So they are, I've got a few Game Boy ones. So there's Dr. Mario, that's literally one of my favourite puzzle games, I'd absolutely recommend it. But I do prefer playing it like on the um, the NES. It's not the easiest playing it on Game Boy because obviously you can still uh, distinguish, you know, because the, uh, the colour tones, what's what. But um, yeah, I've played this loads, uh, mainly on the, um, on the NES Mini, that's how I literally like got addicted to this um so absolutely recommend dr mario next one i've got bart simpson's escape from camp deadly it looks all right it looks like a nice uh like bit of a platformer so like i said i've not got that much to say to these games i've not like actually tried them out it's flying everywhere you'd think that was on the monster not me <laughs> this is decent i love the artwork as well castlevania 2 belmont's revenge yeah. Hopefully you guys can see that all right and it's quite clear for you. Put a bit of Castlevania on the original Game Boy. I have that all day, every day. So these ones, some more random ones. Literally want to give a massive shout out to this game. Probably bought this when I was about, what, like 11 or 12 or something? Didn't get what the hell it was. I can't even remember where I even bought this from. You know what? When I think about it, I just don't know if it was like from... You know, somewhere like Matalan or just like a, a random garden centre or something. You know, just one of the miscellaneous stores that like you just can't remember what the hell it is. I just really don't know. I don't know how much it was or anything. I don't know what appealed to me to get this. That's really random. Oh, wow. That's so random. I've just found two manuals that I needed in here. 
Sorry, I'm just quite stunned right now because I don't know what the hell's gone on. I swear, I had the manuals missing in these for ages, right? Like years ago. But I'm sure that I've rebought these because them copies that I rebought re -bought had the Manuels. So now I've got two stray Manuels. I'll have to go back and have a look at it. I'm really confused right now. Anyway, <laughs> that's so random. I wonder what the hell was behind this Manuel. Um, but anyway, this is an absolutely wicked compilation of Atari 2600 games and that's how I discovered them. It's absolutely awesome. Really would recommend it, guys. I'm sure it's only a cheapo from CEX, like a few quid, if that. It's not an expensive one. And um, that's how I discovered things like uh, River Raid, awesome one, that. Uh, Crackpots, Kaboom, love that one. Freeway, Ice Hockey, Pitfall. Oh, there's loads, man. But yeah, I, I absolutely would recommend it. And it's got like all um, 80s uh, soundtracks on it as well. It's got like um, Talk Talk, It's My Life. It's my life, that one. Um, I can't sing it all. Um, oh, it's got all sorts on it. Yeah, it's got Tainted Love, uh, Blondie. Yeah, there's a few on here. Twisted Sister. Um, but yeah, these games, it, they're actually playing while you're playing the games as well. So it's got like a proper 80s feel to it. So... Honestly, if you guys do not own this, and especially if you're a fan of the 2600, do get this, Activision Anthology. Get that compilation, guys. One of my favourite compilations, that. Um, random one, but it's really fun. It's like a three plus, I know, but it's really fun. It's called Dog's Life, and your players, um, I can't remember what the breed is. It's something really obvious. You guys all know what it is. I don't know. I'm just all derpy. I can't remember what uh, breed it is, but it's called Jake anyway. And I can't remember what button you press, but you can, I'm sure you press like circle and he takes a dump or something. And I'm sure you can press a button to make him fat as well. So, uh, yeah, it's really fun anyway. Um, Fun little adventure one. You have to like seek out like scents and like collect them and all that lot. Um, and obviously I like, interact with other dogs. I think on that one you can see what he's doing on there. <laughs> so yeah, it's like a nice little like adventure game. Um, I've, I've been meaning to like go back and replay this. I enjoy it that much. So yeah, I think I think it's just a little hidden gem. Like don't dismiss this if you see it. I know it's like a three plus and I, I know like the artwork don't look amazing or whatever. Don't like the most appealing, but yeah, I'd absolutely recommend Dog's Life. I think it's mega fun. This one, can't remember if I've already shown it, but it deserves another shout out anyway. It's actually a 505 game. It is Fire Heroes. Really cool firefighting game. So you go in uh, a, a tower block. Well, I say a tower block. It's like a... How many storey building is it? 30 floors in it told you i'm so bad at describing games i really am like i know what i want to say i just i just can't like i don't know i'm just all day piano <laughs> but yeah I, i'd absolutely recommend that i got that for like 45 quid um it seems to be probably going for a bit more really on ebay um it's a really expensive one um i'm sure there's one or two copies that are sealed and they're very expensive um sure it was around 100 150 mark if my memory ain't too foggy if i'm right anyway but absolutely recommend Fire Heroes. I know it's um, a hefty price, but I would recommend it. It's a decent 5 and 5 game, that one. Uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. This is this was an eBay purchase. One of my favourite puzzle games, this. Um, I just absolutely loved it since playing the uh, Sega Mega Drive Mini. Um, luckily, it's on there. Because um, I wanted this game for ages. And then I eventually got it for like a decent price uh, on eBay. And it's... Uh, Apart from the scuffing at the bottom, it's like really nice uh, condition anyway. But yeah, it's one of them. You just basically got to match up uh, coloured beans and it, it's just decent. Uh, so yeah, I would recommend that as a puzzle game. Um, this one, really happy to get this. 
this was virtual bar another ebay purchase it, these were all made some time ago these games these purchases um I, i'm sure i got this for about the 60 quid mark which i don't think is too bad because this has actually gone up a bit in value from what i've seen anyway on ebay i'm not sure about elsewhere but on ebay uh, the manual is is quite warm but i actually don't mind that sometimes you know if it's got some wear in it because like i say it kind of shows history yeah but then so does scrolled passwords in the back in the notes section yeah but i don't like uh graffiti in the manuals though <laughs> this is, don't don't mind me it's just me having an argument with myself um <laughs> but yeah i don't mind if things are worn because it can show history i just don't like other people's just scribbling i just don't like it i just like all the notes pages and manuels to just be clean you know uh well, yeah this is like a, it's like an assortment of a load of like kind of mini games on it i've played a little bit of it um and from what i've played anyway i think this is this is better than um bart's nightmare for sure um i couldn't really get on with that i've played a few of the mini games on it but i couldn't quite get on with the bart's nightmare so i i would say this is the best um simpsons or bart game on the mega drive it, or even to be fair it's one of my favorite bart whatever you want to call it simpsons or bart game retro bart games in general so i would absolutely recommend virtual bart if you could try get it for decent price and then finally guys can't remember again if i've shown it but this is a, a big hitter from my sega saturn collection this is deep fear it is an ebay purchase so this is from ages ago i got this for like a decent price it goes for so much more now so i really did get this for a decent price and manuel and everything absolutely flawless condition even the discs absolutely awesome it's a really beautiful example this so yeah it's basically like a, a survival horror kind of game some people compare it to resident evil i don't think it's quite like it maybe a bit just because it's like a survival horror but i would say it's different but um yeah you basically it is it's like underneath you're underneath the um pacific ocean um on some thing uh i'm not very good at describing it it's like the some vehicle or vessel or whatever you call them submarine whatever i don't know um but yeah and there was like a a, a chimpanzee about 40 years earlier i believe from when this game started uh, it was released into space to test the effects of radiation on a living being and then it it came back down and i think it was like it's kind of like near near this main vessel i think it's called like i can't remember if it's called the big city or something like the, the name of the vessel um but i think we play on a naval submarine called the sea fox i'm trying to piece together to try explain to you guys and we're basically like sent to investigate and then once we like approach this like massive vessel kind of thing or big submarine whatever uh, there's all like mutated like creatures on it uh, that were previously humans so um yeah that's basically what it is we're just kind of sent to investigate this stuff so um yeah i absolutely love the artwork as well i, I love my survival horrors so i'd recommend that guys i actually would if you try to get it for a, a decent price and if you like this type of game if you like your survival horrors it's very dark and very creepy and i love it but yeah we'll warn you it is a big hitter but it's worth it i love this genre I love this game genre so guys i really hope you've enjoyed this pickups video i think it's been a banging one if i may say so myself i think it's been pretty damn decent some awesome recent pickups birthday gifts again massive shout out to liam absolute kind gift from a subscriber burning rangers for the sega Saturn. and i've been after this game for ages i have um, mentioned this on previous videos i'm sure um so absolutely awesome addition and a really nice copy so thank you liam you've contributed towards my uk pal set when i finally complete that i'm definitely going to go for that um i do have like so much love for the saturn as you can see and uh also the sega saturn magazine quest just issues four and ten on that and then just the couple of issues of saturn power demo discs to complete that so there's a lot of sound love in here i've just kind of noticed you know <laughs> please go and enjoy yourself now the lockdown rules are being gradually eased but of course remain safe as you continue to do so so thank you so much guys for watching this latest pickups video and supporting my channel as usual take care and i'll see you in the next one i'll see you in a bit guys